Hello and welcome back. As always, my name is Laser, and today we're gonna do a build guide for the Hierarch of the Protoss Artanis. So let's go over his abilities in case you're not familiar with Artanis. He is a melee warrior from the StarCraft universe classified as medium difficulty to play. His Q ability is Blade Dash Dash Forward, deal damage to enemies, then return and deal triple the amount of damage. It's worth noting that this ability does not cause you to become unstoppable, meaning you can be stopped mid animation by crowd control effects. His W ability is Twin Blaze, this one is a bit more cut and dry, your next basic attack immediately strikes the enemy two times. E is Face Prism, another skill shot in a line, low travel time and low actual range for Face Prism, deals damage to heroes and swaps your position with theirs. Shield Overload is the trait or passive, if you take damage while below 50% health you gain a shield for 5 seconds. Your basic attacks lower the cooldown of Shield Overload by 4 seconds. This is where his main tankiness comes from and you can build Artanis to keep on rolling into Shield Overload. When it comes to heroic abilities we got a choice between Suppression Pulse and Purifier Beam. So let's go over the first one, Suppression Pulse, fire a large area pulse from the Spear of a Dune dealing damage and blinding enemies for 4 seconds. This ability has unlimited range. Now obviously this is a counter to auto attack hero team compositions and should be picked up as such. The fun one is this one, Purifier Beam. Target an enemy hero with an orbital beam from the Spear of a Dune dealing damage per second for 8 seconds. The beam will chase the target as they move. Again, unlimited range on this one as well. Now, you should know that the actual movement speed of the beam is lower than a normal hero's movement speed, so it can be outrun. Also, the beam creates a little pull on the ground which is capable of doing AoE damage, so if you got multiple heroes all clumped up by CC or something like that, you can deal nice AoE damage with Purifier Beam. Anyway, these are the abilities, let's skip straight to the actual gameplay. Alright guys, and just as the random gods would have it, I'm on Battlefield of Eternity and I'm gonna pick up our first talent for our tennis. But first we're gonna look at team composition, please notice I'm not the only so-called tank on my team, we also got a Sonya. So we got double bruisers, one melee assassin, one support and one specialist in the form of Sergeant Hammer on the enemy team. Our tennis, Kerosene, Stitches, Rainer and Brightwing. I do believe they have a much more balanced team comp than we do, but hey, we'll see how this goes. So, do they have auto attacks? This is what I'm thinking at when choosing my first talent for Artanis, and yes, they do. They have that uh, Artanis, and they have a Rainer, and that's reason enough to pick up Reactive Parry. At the first tier, you got two viable choices, Reactive Parry and Seasoned Marksman. Uh, Reactive Parry, the more defensive choice, uh, defensive choice, and Seasoned Marksman, the more offensive choice. Alright, uh, for example, I had a Joanna or a Leoric main tank, and for me, I would definitely gone for Season Marksman for a little bit more damage. But then again, on this map, I don't, not really sure I would have had time to build it up. So yeah, always consider, uh, take a look at the team compositions and think about the map you're on as well. Okay, I'm gonna flip this bright wing. Almost got a good stun there by Tirande, but no cigar. Good AoE damage onto the both of them. Good there, Bar Sonia. Very ballsy. Now, if I flip them, nah, 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 I got no more minions to tank that tower. Alright, guys. Other uh, uh, options at level 1, not really. Okay, so like I said, the tank UA or the damage UA, your call, depending on map and team. Here's the Brightwing. Do something with this Brightwing. Good stun. And good damage onto the Brightwing, but not enough. Now we're gonna back away. I wonder what top lane is doing. Apparently, the Sergeant Hammer is running like a boss. Hold on, Hammer. I'm coming to help you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna leave those two there. I'm gonna head to the top lane. I got pulled down on a healing fountain, so I will be able to... Ah, uh, missed it. Oh, Stitch just hooked me. I'm gonna back away. Face Prism, as you can see, guys, and as I told you, uh, has a short... Uh, range and the travel speed is absolutely atrocious, meaning it can be missed extremely, extremely easy. So be careful with this one. Okay, gotta careful the hook. Good, thank you, missed it. And the immortals have popped up, and we're gonna head there. I've been playing our tennis non stop ever since he came out, guys. You might be wondering about my experience with him. I'll save my impression as a conclusion at the end of the video, but like I said, I've been playing him non stop mostly because I enjoy his kit very, very much. Alright, I'm not saying he's super efficient or something like that, I just like his style, okay? What type of warrior he is. Okay, I'm gonna back away. Should be fighting at ours, not at theirs. Here comes Sergeant Hammer, he's gonna get hooked by stitches there. Do I have cooldown on healing fountain? No, I just picked it up. I'm gonna head to my own immortal, where the fun is going down. 
Almost got a kill there. VR10 is taking a lot of damage. Here comes Stitchy Witchy. Okay, good. Got a kill on our Tyrande. We got a kill on our Tannis and their Stitches. Their Rainer running. Ah, uh, good. Good there by the Rainer. Okay, just a little bit more AoE damage onto them and back and away. Let's see, can I flip that? No, I could not flip that, but a lot of damage onto the Artanis. Artanis, uh, not Artanis, Kerazim. Uh, Artanis, Kerazim, same thing, right? What? No? Okay. Okay, guys, Templar Zeal is gonna be the talent I'm gonna be picking up at this level, but I'm gonna go back before I die. So, Templar Zeal, Blade Dash, cooldown recharges 75% faster while you are below 50% health. This is the more tanky approach, and I'll explain at the next tier why that is. Chrono Surge is the more damage oriented approach face prison grants attack speed 25 percent bonus attack speed for four seconds if you land this bloody thing all right i see a lot of people playing with lethal accuracy increases blade dash range and speed by 30 percent this is useful for not getting knocked out of your q ability but it can get you into a whole lot of trouble so i don't really recommend it our tennis our tennis where are you going our tennis oh no the, the aoe the goddamn aoe too much aoe I gotta go, that was a 2 for 1 overall, not so good for us. Heading into lane. Mighty run this running, gotta be careful out the stitches. Hook! Oh, good stun! That's gonna save her life there. Nice moves by any. Alright, I'm a little bit low, so I'm gonna hit the healing fountain. So, like I said, guys, uh, the tanky approach for tank for zeal, chrono surge for damage, and lethal uh, alacrity uh, apparently is the more popular choice for our tennis at this time. I, however, don't like it that much! Damn it, I missed that. Okay, this is a 4 on 4. Sergeant Hammer sieging up. I'm not really sure why. We'll do a lot of damage onto this Artanis. Onto this Artanis. Artanis almost did good damage by Arty Run there. And a good kill on the enemy rain. Flipped him. Good stun by Annie there. And a double kill. Annie knew where he would came back. I taught her how to... Uh, hit her lunar flare where our tennis left. Okay, who <laughs> was the aim at where, where he left? So he, he she will get a stun when she comes back. <laughs> it's easier to predict our tennis, guys. It's not that hard. <laughs> All right, let's go in here. Big balls. I'm not afraid of that little butterfly. Uh, I want to flip him, but I don't have minions to tank. I'll pick up my next talent at level 7. Let's see. If you're going for damage, follow through is an absolute solid, solid choice on our tennis. It's also a little bit bug now. You want, if you want to do stupid amounts of damage through the buff, you want to auto-attack a uh, enemy hero, then activate W, and follow through will kick in like twice. There. It's a weird bug, okay? It does like 24,000 damage in like, I don't know. A second or something like that. It's a bug. It's gonna be blocked out. Anyway, Psionic Synergy is the talent I'm gonna go for this time. Every time Blade Dash hits an enemy hero, it reduces shields overload cooldown by four seconds. Now you can see this synergizes extremely well with Templar Zeal. That's why I picked up Templar Zeal. This will allow me in a team fight just to queue through enemies and get shield after shield after shield. In theory, at least. Good stun there. I'm gonna try a flip. Didn't make it. A lot of damage onto the little butterfly. No, 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 butterfly. No, butterfly. Butterflies, bye bye, butterflies, and I'm out of here. Okay, that's that's dangerous. Like I said, guys, you can get knocked out out of your queue uh, by uh, something like Rainer's thing. Full level in front of the enemy team, six minutes into the game. I'm gonna go here and get some mercenaries with this Sonia. All right, what is there is there to talk about at this tier? Uh, let's see. Okay, at uh, this level, shield battery. I played around with it. It's almost worthless. Almost 100% worthless. The shield never actually lasts for the sh uh, full duration. Okay, so you get no benefit from this talent. And here, let's see. Uh, these are the strong choices from my point of view. Other than that, blade dash damage. I don't see the point of 150% extra on your. Uh, careful, if you tell them this one is only the going through part, not the rewind. Okay, the recoil. So it's not that big of a deal. I recommend you guys stay away from it. All right, let's see. Immortals that are gonna be up in about five seconds. Let's join the fun. Full lever in front of the enemy team. We should get uh, what you might call them. We should get uh, ultimate heroics, yeah, uh, before our opponents. Good damage onto him. Good hook. Gotta get out of. Oh, so good, so good. Come on, bro. That's it, my man. Hey, Stitchy. Bye, Stitchy. <laughs> I'm gonna go on the butterfly. Hello, butterfly. Here comes our tennis, though. It's a kind of unfair fight. Backing away a little bit, showing the Artanis that I see him. One and two, baby. Love it. Careful for all. Careful for all. Okay, good, good, good. We're good. Oh, 
He's got vulnerable, so I'm gonna Q right through. Here comes my tank. Uh, certain hammer. A little bit low, a little bit low. Missed hook by the stitchers. Onto the Artanis, a lot of damage onto him. He's gonna get popped, baby, popped. Oh, I'm out of mana, are you freaking kidding me? They got a lot of auto attack heroes, so I'm gonna take, actually... Suppression Pulse is, uh, is nice against auto attack heroes, like I said, but Purifier Beam so good. Okay, I'm just gonna go for a safe route. We're gonna talk about ultis a little bit, guys, okay? I'm not fully convinced I did the right thing there, but I'm trying to use logic here. Your fire beam is so so sexy. I love it. Alright guys, so suppression pulse, you saw me use it there. Big AoE, hard to get out of it. It can be used uh, in the start of the team fight, okay? That's when you're supposed to use it. The team fight starts, you put it down. Four seconds for the auto attack heroes and everybody on the enemy team which you hit to miss their auto attacks. And pretty much that's it. Okay, that's how you use it. Oh, it can also be used to catch a fleeing opponent. Okay, fleeing opponent running away from a fight with like 5% HP. You might use it to kill it. It might not kill though, because it doesn't do that much damage. I'm gonna go back for mana. Alright, let's check stats. I know you're interested in this here. Stats, I didn't die at all, so it's working pretty good. But we got double bruisers. Okay, this is where our Tannis shines the mode. I gotta, I gotta tell you guys. He doesn't shine as a solo tank. He, he he can be used, okay? But I would not recommend it. Yes, he can be used as a solo tank. You build super into tanky, super into tanky, okay? Uh, mostly like I am right now, okay? And he can work like that, but it's definitely not recommended. Not It's not when he shines. He shines as when he can be an actual bruiser, what he's supposed to be. See, I used my ulti. I got him all blinded. I'm gonna try a knee on our channel. That didn't work out so good. A lot of damage onto the enemy team. Good ult by my pro. Q right through. Q right back. A lot of damage onto the Rainer. Bye bye Rainer. Where are you going, Artanis? Nowhere. Huh? I know you're coming back, Arty. Triple kill. Let's just get some damage onto these minions so we can keep on pushing. Look, guys. I gave you a free. Why are you not going on the kerosene? I gave you one for free. Free kerosene. Boom, boom, baby. I'm good. Don't worry, guys. Was not gonna take that much damage. Okay, here comes Stitches. The enemy team is almost up. I gotta be careful. Okay, my shield is up. But I'm taking damage from the other tower. Okay, gotta be careful. Oh my guys, there's so much push. So much push. Gotta go back. I'm gonna use my ulti right now just to secure our escape. When I get talent at this level, is gonna be... Wait, do they have that much ability damage? I don't believe they do. I don't believe they do. I don't believe they... I can't think now, so I'm gonna take triple strike and see afterwards if that was a good choice or not. Triple strike. Good damage there. Come on, right wing, right wing's dead. Okay, guys. Yeah, whatever. Here, I'll get to use my triple strike at least, and kill the stitches. That should teach you to poke on our tennis. All right, guys. I wanna go. I wanna go. Back to base for mana and HP. All right, so let's talk about this. Purifier beam. Like I told you guys, it creates a little puddle on the ground. Okay, which can do AOE damage. Frol picked up Earthquake, or whatever the hell is that talent called on Frol, I forget. There can be no doubt. Okay, so it's called Earthquake, yeah, Earthquake, okay, it would have worked brilliantly with Purifier B, absolutely brilliant, okay, because again it creates this puddle on the ground, it's bloody awesome, the upgrade to Purifier Beam, which you get at level 20, again, is so very potent and I love it. But again, they got two auto attack heroes for the form of Raynor and Artanis, and I want to shut them down, okay, so that's why I picked up uh, Suppression Pulse. At this level, triple strike will grant one more strike of twin blades. Obviously, what that look, guys. Don't kill him yet. And ah, oh, you killed him. Fine, let's just blow him up then. All right, guys, we're gonna fight now, just a little bit. Uh, let's see other viable option. Face bulwark reduces overload. Wait, hold on. Damn it. Guys, can you stop wrecking for a second so I can talk about talents? Fine. Don't stop then. Let's just wreck. Wreck face and we'll talk after the game. Face Bulwark, uh, Bulwark will, re will reduce all ability damage taken by you by 50% for 3 seconds once your trait shield overload activates. Okay? So it's clear what that does. Okay? Good. Oh, we're gonna talk more about our tennis, guys, okay, just after the game, because I didn't get to tell you everything I wanted to, but my guys wanted to destroy everybody, so there you go, this is the kind of friends I have. I told them, hey, listen, let me talk to people, they don't wanna, they don't wanna, what can I do? Members of my community, <laughs> sheesh. 
All right, guys, so uh, let's go to talents, shall we? Okay, you want to see stats. Okay, here's final stats. Here, final build. This was a raffle stomp. So let's talk about more talents. We were at level 30, uh, 13. Face Bulwark, if the enemy team has got a lot of ability damage, like, for example, the dreaded uh, mage combo, Kael'thas with Jaina. Increases twin blade... Uh, when Shield Overload activates, you take 50% less damage from abilities for 3 seconds. So you want to pick this up, especially if you're building tank yard tennis, you must have this. Uh, and Twin Blades is a uh, triple strike is an absolutely great talent on our tennis, both for tanky and for actual damage. Why is that? Uh, for damage is obvious why, yes? And for tanky, because it will help get you the cooldown down on your passive, on Shield Overload. Okay, it's going to be 3 strikes instead of 2, that means 12 seconds instead of 8. So it's awesome. Moving on to level 16. Three strong options here. I love three of them. Four tank in uh, our tennis. Obviously, going to be shield surge increases shield overload shield by fifty percent, but decays to the normal amount over three seconds. Absolutely for tanky our tennis. This is the one to have. Zealot charge is my favorite at this tier. Okay, it makes you have a little bit of a gap closener when you activate your W or twin blades. You can stick on your target. You can get to your target and destroy them a lot faster and easier with this one. Titan Killer is my last um, viable uh, viable uh, talent at this uh, tier. This will increase uh, Twin Blades attacks against heroes, deal an extra 2.5% of their maximum health and damage. This is to be picked up when the enemy team is heavy on the HP side, okay? If they got two tanks and maybe a Chasmodan or something like that, you want to pick up Titan Killer. It deals huge amounts of damage, 2.5% per strike, okay? That's a lot. That's right, especially if, if you grabbed Triple Strike as well. Very strong talent. Psionic Wound? Eh, eh, not really. Level 20. I love this one, guys. Target Purified. If the target of Purifier Beam dies, it automatically recasts on the nearest uh, enemy hero. Okay, so it's a full recast. It's bloody amazing. You can make awesome plays with this one, okay? If you focus correctly on the target. Okay, it will jump from target to target. There. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, for tanky and tennis, you're gonna go with Force of Will, increases Shield Overload and Cooldown Reduction from basic attacks to 6 seconds, from 4 to 6. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant, you're gonna be able, much easier to roll into Shield Overload. And Nexus Blades, a, another damage option for our Tanix, basic attack deal 20% more damage and slow the target for 1 second. Which should you pick, the, pick up for our tennis, target Purified or Nexus Blades? Well, it's pretty simple, if you can... Keep your target somewhat in place, okay, if you got good AoE um, uh, CC like I did with my Thrall here, you want to go for target purified. If not, if your targets are very mobile and they keep getting away from you, Nexus Blades is going to help uh, you out a whole lot more. Well guys, that's going to do it for the Artanis build guide. As my conclusion to him, I have been enjoying him a whole lot. I have been having great success both in rank and in quick match. No problem at all. I like his kit. He is definitely a viable bruiser from my point of view. I am aware that there are many people who feel differently about our tennis. That's totally fine from my point of view. And I know that his win rate on hot slogs, if you take a look, it's like 42 or 43 percent. I believe that people have not yet unlocked uh, all the potential for our tennis, especially that I see many people going for this talent. Where is it? Yeah. Increases the range and speed of Blade Dash. From my point of view, this is a bit of a suicide talent and should not be picked up. But hey, that's just how I feel about Artanis. What I recommend to you guys, only if you are used to Bruisers, okay? Bruiser is a very special class, okay? They are not as squishy as an Assassin, not as tanky as an actual tank, and have mediocre to great damage, okay? They are some. They're in between actual Assassins and tanks. If you're into bruisers, absolutely pick up Artanis. I have been enjoying my time with him and I'll keep on playing him because I absolutely love his kit. One last thing, I want to talk a little bit about the weaknesses of Artanis, okay? Because there are plenty. Obviously, you put yourself in the line of fire a lot considering your kit. Okay, you're gonna flip our target, okay? But then you're probably gonna be in the line of fire or you queue right in. Maybe you get polymorphed by a Brightwing and get stopped in your tracks. Then again, you're putting yourself in a bad position as Artanis. And there's another thing. Artanis, in order to be viable, in order to be a efficient he must fight he cannot fight if he is stunned so he is very susceptible to cc okay especially to stuns keep in mind that you can escape some aoe crowd control effects through the use of your blade dash your q ability let's say for example let you run this lunar flare okay you see it coming you queue out you're gonna queue back but the lunar flare is already gonna be landed and so on and so forth Another example would be Kerrigan's combo or her impelling blades, okay? So if you time it just right, you can escape some AoE crowd controlling effects through the use of your blade dash. And those are kind of his weaknesses. Thank you guys for watching, like, favorite, share and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and I'll definitely see you again.
Sonic.